We're in the kitchen. Thanks for having me, first of all. I'm really excited about this because yeah. I get to bake with zucchini, which excites me because it really makes everything super moist it and does. delicious. Okay. And you're getting all this nutrition from the zucchini, even mm -hmm. though you don't really taste it, especially if you're baking with chocolate. Today we're not <laughs> baking with chocolate though. We're baking with coconut flour. And coconut flour is really high in fiber. Like I like to eat as many as possible, but when you're eating with coconut flour, it's probably best not to do that. We're going to trust another lady. Uh, it's called detoxinista.com. Okay. That's where we're getting the recipe from today. I trust okay. her with a lot of my paleo recipes. Okay. We're gonna use um, only three quarter cups of coconut flour, but with that much mm -hmm. coconut flour, you need to use a lot of eggs because it absorbs a lot of moisture. So you need to use six eggs for this. And the best way to crack an egg when you're baking is to just always crack it on a flat surface. Right. Yeah, I've learned that you need to crack it on a Flat, flat surface. surface. Nice little tappy tap. Get yeah. in there. And with these recipes, I always like to put everything in one bowl. I know you're not supposed to do that with baking. It's a rule that you're not supposed to break, but I break it all the time because I don't want to do a lot of dishes. So are you ignoring the two, like the wet bowl and the dry bowl? You're I'm just ignoring like, the wet bowl and the dry bowl. That's exactly what we're doing today. We're ignoring that, that it That might change my life. So these are free range organic eggs. Lovely. Local, awesome, and cracking on a flat surface yeah. to do it well. There we go. And eggshells are so great in the compost. Oh, okay. Yeah. I to teach me about compost. They provide a lot of calcium, not surprisingly, okay. to your compost pile. Okay. And plants actually need a lot of calcium. Like, if your zucchini plant is deficient in calcium, what happens is that the fruit starts to form, and then the um, end, like the area where the flower is, will actually rot. It's no. called blossom end rot, and tomatoes and zucchinis are the two main things that would get this um, condition. No way. It's actually caused by a lack of calcium in the soil. And of course, finding a good source of eggs can be a challenge, but I have found um, that going to my farmer's market, I get eggs and I um, I like to ask them the question, like if I was a character in Portlandia, would I be comfortable <laughs> eating this egg? And if they say yes and they know what I'm talking about, then, then I will buy them. <laughs> and thankfully I found that actually the prices at farmer's markets are really, really good. In fact, they're just cheaper than the grocery store most of the time. All right. Six eggs in yeah. here. We will whisk these up. I don't know if you want to do the whisking. Yeah, sure. Get up in there and then we'll throw the wet ingredients in first. We're gonna use a quarter cup of coconut oil. Okay. So coconut oil is so amazing. I use it in all my baking now because you can actually completely replace butter if you want to keep dairy free. Yeah. This is an amazing way to do it. So nice. like it works cup for cup. Okay. Um, so that's great to know. Pour this in here. Yeah. It's melted because it's a nice hot day. And that's what we want we just put it outside to melt it. There was no fancy work. <laughs> We're gonna use half a cup of maple syrup. Maple syrup is actually now considered a superfood. The best way to get sweetener in any of your baked goods. Why is it a superfood? Well, it's amazing for you. It's from the earth. Not a local product to where we are in British Columbia, but no. a Canadian product. Yeah, no, it's for really sure. Good. It, it actually is good for you, but only in moderation, of course, like any sugar. <laughs> but this is um, the best way to, to implement sugar into your baked goods. Some people okay. like to use stevia. I don't like the taste of stevia at all. Yeah. So maple syrup is the best. And plus, you get that nice mapley taste. It is delicious. Exactly. And honey is also delicious. Honey is good too. I you should you should measure. <laughs> I know, but I'm going to. You're being a little bit of a badass. I'm being a total okay. badass yeah. baker right now. We're gonna wow. use. Wow, you're just going rogue. Yeah, we're going rogue. We're okay. Gonna use a teaspoon of um, vanilla. We think it was a teaspoon. We well, don't actually know. You know what? With vanilla, you can just go crazy. Those are all the wet ingredients. We are going to put in uh, some nutmeg. Okay. Nutmeg is. I love nutmeg. A quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay. And then we are going to use a full teaspoon of cinnamon. You, you definitely have a large supply of cinnamon going there. I love cinnamon I'm, so I'm much. Impressed. And and cinnamon's amazing for you. It actually um, also helps detoxify. I've, I've heard that. Yeah, these are all great things for you. We're doing Absolutely. good things for our body. Then we're going to put in three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. This is the only chemical thing I'm gonna put in this. We need it. We need it. It's necessary, especially for quick breads. So this is three quarters of a cup of okay. coconut flour, okay? 
Um, I know you should really sip this stuff, blah, blah, blah. I don't, um... Follow. You're still going rogue. I'm going rogue. Because who has, who has time for sifting? Nobody. No. Nobody has time for sifting. I don't. Okay, so let's just forget about it. There's a problem with lumpiness, we got for it. sure. With coconut flour, yes. You have to be careful. You have to get on all the lumps. I'm sorry, oh. I'm making more work for you, yes. but you, you see how I made Getting lumps work for me. <laughs> I point. feel bad. I will do the rest, because I need you to do something else for me now. Okay. I need you to shred that zucchini. We need... I think it's a cup and a half. Okay. Coming right up. Oh yeah. What makes this recipe paleo? Paleo is all about going back to like caveman roots. So going back to ingredients at its simplest and, and most raw form. So baking soda would be the only thing that's not really considered paleo mm -hmm. in this the recipe. Caveman did not. Caveman did not use no. baking soda. But uh, everything else you could, I mean, I don't know, even the vanilla extract. Okay. We're playing fast and loose with paleo here. But uh, I think this is as good as it's gonna get, especially with okay. the stuff that we've been consuming our whole lives. You're doing a great job shredding, by the way. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm really into your shredding technique. Look at all that, look at all the moisture. It's just, oh, it's gonna just add so much to this. So here's a cup and a half. Oh yeah, we're Measure gonna throw out. that right in there. Okay. Look at this. Yeah! Okay. Oh man, I'm so excited about this. This is gonna be a very healthy, very fibrous, Muffin that you can have in the morning for breakfast or as a snack. Cause you know what, muffins can be very filling. We're gonna. So I don't know if you want to go ahead and scoop that into the already pre-lined muffin tray. We should also say yeah. that before we started, we did preheat the oven to 350. We did. So that should be ready to go as well. And we got liners. some. We got some sweet party <laughs> themed muffin <laughs> liners here. <laughs> I just kind of like <laughs> keeping my muffin liner super festive. You never know what could happen. I know you have a secret for when you bake your muffins that you put them in the freezer right away. As as I, I have made um, a different recipe of zucchini muffins uh -huh. that freeze beautifully. Okay. And then I can take them out even months later and just defrost and then just pop them in until they're warm. Okay. And um, because the zucchini it is so moist, they don't get dried out or anything. I. I have tried one of these muffins, and let me tell you, mm -hmm. they were delicious. I couldn't, I'm I needed, you I it. wanted, see, I kind of wanted you to share a recipe with me today, your zucchini muffin recipe. I'm happy <laughs> that I'm here sharing a recipe that's not even mine, but I'm happy to make them <laughs> with you, because um, I, don't, I don't know, baking alone is fun, but baking with a friend is just that much better. Mm -hmm. You can also make this into a loaf, um, we just right. have to bake it for much longer. So yeah. instead of baking it for 30 minutes, you'd bake it for 50 in a loaf pan. And with this stuff, especially with coconut flour, you want to make sure that you line everything because it'll stick to the pan even if you oh, grease it up. Oh, okay. So look at Here that. Here we go. Use it all up. So yeah. So go in the oven. It's going to bake for the like oven. 30, like 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. In let's the do oven. it. Ready to go? Do the honors? <gasps> yeah, let's do it. Go in. I can smell that they're ready. You're ready to take them out. I'm very excited. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll have to wait for these to cool to eat them, but obviously, through the magic of video, we'll eat them right away. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's the good stuff. Seriously, this is perfect. Yeah, we did a good job. This is so We got great. them to the right consistency. And we used a fresh zucchini from the garden. Okay. The zucchini was in the garden mm. a mere hour ago. When you have a garden and the zucchinis are growing, sometimes you're like, ah, what do I do with them all? There's so many things to do. Yeah. You can even make a hummus, a beanless really? hummus. Yeah, add a zucchini. What? Use some tamari and zucchini and lemon. If you have a processor, it's really beneficial, or like a Vitamix or something. I've never tried that before. Toss it up, use some garlic from the garden. Okay. You have to try it out, I'll send you the recipe. Please do. <laughs> They're really good. Mm -hmm. Like the more you eat it, the better it gets. 